Hey, do you have questions about the high pass filter and the low pass filter in Audacity? What those are and what they do and how to use them in your podcast editing? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Hey, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Bootcamp. Let's talk about high pass filters and low pass filters for just a moment. The video that you're about to see is actually lecture 39 from my Udemy course. It's one of the free preview videos that you can watch there at Udemy if you're considering taking my course. And it's all about high pass and low pass filters. Hopefully it'll clear up any confusion that you might have about high pass and low pass filters and answer the question, what are high pass and low pass filters and how and why should I be using them? So let's get started. Hey, welcome back to the Audacity Bootcamp. You're moving right along. In this lesson, I want to talk to you about the low pass filter and the high pass filter, what those are, what they do, and when they should be used. So let's get started. Again, I've got this same uh, piece of audio selected on the same track that we've been working on in order to take a look at the high pass and low pass filters within Audacity. Let's come up here to the effect drop down uh, menu again, and this time we're going to scroll down a bit here. And the first thing we're going to do is pick the high pass filter. Now a high pass filter means that everything above the frequency that I select is going to be passed through and we're going to hear it. It's a high pass filter. So everything above the frequency that I have typed in there, in this case, 1000 Hertz or one kilohertz, however you'd like to say it, everything above that frequency is going to pass. We're going to allow it through. Everything below that frequency, we're not going to eliminate, but we're going to attenuate it, in this case, by a value of 6 dB. So let's give this a listen and see what this sounds like. Red is really my second favorite color. Boy, the color blue is fantastic. You know, so I've got this false star. That's pretty tinny sounding. There's not any real bass in there at all. There is some, but again, it's been reduced by a level of 6 dB. And and we're attenuating those uh, frequencies by a value of 6 dB. Now, if I leave the value at 1000 Hertz and I change the decibel value, let's get extreme here and let's, let's say 36 dB. And that's something you probably never do in real life, but just to illustrate a point here so that you can hear the difference, I want to select 36 dB and I'm going to hit preview again. Red is really my second favorite color. Boy, the color blue is fantastic. You know, so I've got this false star. So in this high pass filter, it's saying everything above a thousand hertz is allowed to pass. Come on through. You're welcome in. Everything below 1000 hertz, I'm going to attenuate you down to about a 36 uh, dB. Now let's change this value from 1000 to 2000. And let's say, you know, everything above 2000 hertz now is allowed to pass. And let's change our decibel back to uh, 6 dB. And let's hit preview here and listen to it. Red is really my second favorite color. Boy, the color blue is fantastic. You know, so I've got this false star. So it's allowing everything above 2000 hertz to pass. Again, it's a high pass filter. And so we're passing frequencies above whatever point that I put in there. That's the high pass filter. If I go to the manage button, unfortunately, there are no factory presets in here, but you can save off presets as you need to. I'm going to cancel out of here. And let's go back up to the effect menu and let's scroll back down again. And this time let's look at the low pass filter. And you guessed it, the low pass filter is opposite of the high pass filter. Now we're going to pass frequencies below a thousand hertz and everything that is higher than a thousand hertz, we're going to attenuate in this instance by six dB. So this is going to sound different. So let's hit the preview button. Red is really my second favorite color. Boy, the color blue is fantastic. You know, so I've got this false star. So here we are emphasizing the low end or the bottom end of the sound. We're bringing up the bass tones, or we're not actually bringing them up, but we're allowing them to pass. That's the low pass filter. We're passing lower frequencies. Now, if we change this to, oh, let's say maybe 600 hertz. Let's try that. Remember, we're, we're passing low frequencies, so we want to stay in that low range. And let's leave this at a 6 dB, and let's see what this sounds like. Red is really my second favorite color. Boy, the color blue is fantastic. You know, so I've got this false star. So you can hear a little bit of a difference there. In this case, we're passing everything 600 hertz and below. Whatever is higher than 600 hertz, we're, we're again attenuating those frequencies by a 6 dB amount. 
Let's change that 6 dB to a 36 dB like we did last time and give that a listen. Red is really my second favorite color. Boy, the color blue is fantastic. You know, so I've got this false star. Sounds a little muffled. I don't think we want to use that in our podcast. But you get the idea. The high pass filter passes frequencies above whatever I set. The low pass filter passes those frequencies below whatever I've set. And I can tell it where to attenuate it in terms of decibel in order to get the sound out of the file or the sound out of my waveform that I want to get. That's the high pass filter and the low pass filter. I hope you found that beneficial, that little conversation there on high pass and low pass filters. Maybe it took some of the mystery out of that for you. Hey, if you like what's going on here, you can reach me anytime at audacitybootcamp.com. I'll have the link to that site down below. It's also up in the header. In addition to that, I'll have a link to my full Udemy course, all 53 lectures. If you want to check it out, preview some of those videos, and decide whether or not that's something that you want to do. I'll have the links for both in the description and in the header. Until next time, see ya.